Maybe when you were younger, you wondered, where do babies come from? And I'm sure you get an answer to that question by this point. But you may not know where babies come from on a cellular level, which is what we're going to focus on here in biology. So we have a man and a woman. Now, each of the cells in the man's body and each of the cells in the woman's body have 46 chromosomes. And each of the cells in your body have 46 chromosomes too. But there are some special cells in each of these um, people's bodies that does not contain 46 chromosomes. Um, let's start with the man. For a very, very long time now, this man has been going through a process known as meiosis in certain cells of his body located in his reproductive organs, his testes. So those cells, which are called germ cells, go through meiosis um, to produce sperm. You've heard of sperm before, I'm sure. Sperm is the male gamete. And what makes meiosis special is that it reduces the number of chromosomes in half. So a sperm cell only has 23 chromosomes compared to the rest of the cells in the man's body, like his skin cells, his eye cells, his brain cells, his stomach cells, etc. The woman has also been going through meiosis. And in meiosis in a female, which occurs in the ovaries, an egg is produced, okay, or an ovum. So that's the female gamete. And just like the sperm, the ovum has 23 chromosomes. So men have sperm, women have ovum, or ova, and they need to come together somehow. Now, how that actually happens, I'll leave that to your health teachers in case you don't know. But on a cellular level, the process is known as fertilization. And when the sperm and the ovum come together in fertilization, it creates a zygote. So a zygote is a um, egg cell that has been fertilized by a sperm. So a fertilized egg cell and the nucleus of the sperm and the nucleus of the ovum fuse together. So we add 23 chromosomes from the sperm, 23 chromosomes from the ovum, and you end up with 46 chromosomes in the zygote. And that's the start of a new human. So you all started off as a zygote when you were much, much, much younger. Um, so this zygote has 46 chromosomes, and now we have to make a baby, which is made up of millions and millions of cells that all need to contain 46 chromosomes. So that process is known as mitosis. So zygote goes through a few mitotic divisions, and it becomes a blastocyst, which is made up of, you know, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 cells, etc. Each of those cells contains 46 chromosomes. Mitosis continues. You get an embryo with 46 chromosomes in each cell. And then a fetus, look at the little fetus sucking thumb, okay, with 46 chromosomes in each of the cells. Mitosis continues over a nine-month period, and eventually you end up with a baby, and all of the cells in the baby contain 46 chromosomes. When this baby grows up, he would also go through meiosis, make sperm cells with 23 chromosomes, and the cycle could continue. And just in case you are wondering, this baby right here, that's President Barack Obama.